Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac. Afterbirth. I think we're gonna try... I was gonna say the unthinkable, but it's not really unthinkable. We're gonna try Lost Mega Satan Runs. We're getting down to the nitty gritty, you know, the, the of the stuff we need to do. You're gonna think I'm an idiot for taking tech too, but my thinking is that at least this gives us persistent damage and uh, it synergizes well with a bunch of things. I don't think we need to hold R necessarily to restart with this item. We could get some, as long as we just get high enough damage, I think a minus 33% damage penalty is okay for the benefit of being able to shoot over, well, through enemies, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But it's possible that this run ends up being hot garbage. But, you know, I think I've been getting too easily um, frustrated on lost runs too too much holding R for me basically that works for a lot of people and in fact it worked for me in a lot of situations but uh, I think for right now in my Isaac life what I need is just a, a run or several runs more likely where I just commit to uh, what we got try to make it actually work and then uh, you know live with the consequences not that the consequences ever really get more severe than just uh, you know we die and then restart 10 seconds later, but... Ooh, heck of a shot right there. I'd really like one of these guys to die. So far, this fight has actually gone pretty well, but it took us flipping forever to get to this point. A little dicey in there as well, but we are now done. Okay, tears or damage, please. Range. Not superb. The other thing is that, you know, Tech 2 is not amazing enough that I feel terrible about a panic reroll. It would be pretty shitty to lose, uh... To lose Holy Mantle, but you know, panic reroll is just that. It's an admission that we'll probably die if we don't reroll. Might as well, uh, you know, give it our all. Any minute now, yeah, okay. Inside of our curse room, an asshole demon who apparently gets knockback from a laser beam. We're, oh, I guess we're dead. Okay. It was fun while it lasted. We are, that's the end of our life. <laughs> it's like exactly the same floor layout. Isaac's heart, I don't think that's quite good enough to roll with right off the bat, as the lost. Wow, that was an incredible bomb. It just stuck the landing on the other one. If we get to like floor three or floor four, then I'll, I'll pop a seed down. All right, so we have seven cents. Whoa. Um, that's That should be enough to get a reroll and actually, Considering that we're playing as the Lost, we can do our own slightly more better feeling version of uh, holding R by basically just donating until we get an item we're very pleased with. Is this it? No. Is this it? No. Is this it? Well, we need one more penny. I, I had a pretty good track record up until that point. Stompy's okay, but you know, the, the risk for accidental damage is high, higher than in most other items. and. Ooh, a little low-key, probably not, but to be honest with you, we're pretty much out of money, so we might as well take something rather than nothing. Could get more money on this floor, more bombs for that matter, but um, let's let's stick with what we got. Loki's horn, nothing wrong with it. Not not enough right with it, but not too much wrong with it either. Um, we did have four more cents. It's probably one more reroll, actually. Am I wrong though when I s Loki's horn appears to fire like as often as Brother Bobby but in four directions? That seems like a pretty much straight upgrade. It's not great necessarily, but it's, it's cute as well. Can hit enemies coming behind us. I don't know. Maybe I'm overrating it a little bit. But it's easy to overrate things that you're like 100% stuck with, you know? It's like the opposite of taking for something something for granted. You're granting it for the taking. It doesn't really make any sense. Don't really care if we get Steven or little, St little Steven. They both have benefits. Normally prefer the base damage, but uh, you know, considering we have one familiar and then would have two, it makes it a little bit better for BFs, BFFs if we get little Steven. Should be hanging out over the rocks some more probably, but looks like we're set. Little Steven. Surprise, surprise. Down to the next floor. Not too, whoa, <laughs> I was gonna say, not too much to say about it just yet. And that's true, there isn't too much to say about it. Two of Hearts is also not the card we're looking for here. Uh, definitely the Joker. 
for the best chance possible to get angel statues, which I should remind myself, probably you at home don't need reminding, but sometimes I do. Uh, we're not taking deals with the devil on this run. So many times I'm streaming, doing like Mega Satan stuff, people are like, oh my god, why didn't he take mom's knife? Unsubbed, unsubbed. And then you gotta be like, it's for the deal with the devil, don't worry about it, balls of steel. Uh, it's not a bad pill, at the very least. Locked down. See, that's a bad pill. I don't know how that affects us uh, too much right now, but you know, if we ever get like tough love in the future, you know, holy shot, any any tier effects that are dictated by luck. I don't know if holy shot is, but I suspect that it is. Then this is poor. At least it wasn't telepills. You know, relax is actually a completely okay pill. Inside of our item room, rotten baby. Yeah, okay, rotten baby is our third familiar and is also very good. So it's an extra familiar, and it's probably one of the best familiars in the game, or at least, you know, top third in the game at that. Um, it's not quite Incubus level, maybe not quite Succubus level, but really, really good. There is a Tinted Rock back there. We have to really think about whether or not Tinted Rocks are, are worth it. Certainly the Tinted Rock that lies in front of me is worth more than the Tinted Rock that lies behind. That's how mankind should think of opportunity. I don't know, I just made that up. And then when I added that little part, it sounded really pretentious. So, haha, -ha, fart, poopy butts, I'm back. Okay. Um, so far, really good. Or at least decent. You know, having this familiar army is nice. All we can hope for is a deal with the devil that actually allows us to make the choice to rebuke it. And then we don't have to worry about having a bomb on this floor, but we'll really want one ASAP on the next floor. We can always buy one from the shop, I guess. Though That's very commonly for sale. Ah, there we go. Let's save this bomb. Not even open the Tinted Rock. More valuable that we have peace of mind, I think, that we can absolutely take out the, um, whoa. The Angel Statue, uh, pedestal. It's very special champion dingle here. We have to get hit twice, so it's pretty unlikely that that happens. Stranger things have happened, though. Get, oh, that was almost, uh, one hit right there. Try to get everybody lined up. That's what we're looking for. Okay, Caffeine Pill, a speed upgrade is good. And we get the choice to take something, so we're going to take nothing. Which is great, because it actually allows us to get deal with the angels in the future. Deals with the angel, I should say. Now, if we're really going to go for this on this run, and I don't see a reason not to. I mean, it's not out of the park baseball 2007 quite yet, but it's, uh, you know, certainly no Gravity Games Air Dirt Vert. What we should probably do is, um, Street Dirt Vert. Damn it. What we should probably do is, uh, donate to the donation machine. Yeah, I mean, this is better. And that gives us a better chance directly of getting a deal with the angel, assuming we fulfill the chance for a deal with the devil as well. Lucky Rock also just set us up, like, amazingly. With money, at least. And we didn't even have to spend a bomb to make that happen. Of course, we do still want to blow up Tinted Rocks because Small Rock is still a good payout, and maybe even Golden Chest sometimes. It's just less valuable than it normally is, so... Don't let me get you too down on... On uh, small rock, or sorry, let me don't let me get you too down on tinted rocks as the lost. And we really have to learn to commit to lost runs, I guess. If the one of the new gold standards for Isaac players, that's a huge item potentially, could be worthless or worth everything. If one uh, infamy that is, if one of the new gold standards for you know being a good Isaac or competent Isaac player is to be able to do streaks with the lost, obviously this is uh, a skill we're gonna have to accept. Not nearly as difficult as it used to be, but uh, still not necessarily easy to get a, a huge streak at least. Two might be conceivable for us for now. A couple of times we almost had a two streak as the old lost. Those were the days, man. Girls were girls and men were men. Yes, so I could use a man like a hoy but Hoover again. That's um, my impression of the theme song to All in the Family. It's, you know... It's a cultural touchstone, for better and for worse. Plenty of cash. Plenty of bombs now, too. A little disappointed I didn't crack that tinted rock on the last floor, but... Not a huge problem, probably. Don't know what it could have found inside of it, but... We don't need to know. Remember, we're going to our shop to donate to the angel. Well, it's a donation machine, but I'm gonna call it the angel machine for now. Um, try cracking that. Very good, we got the... Second Steven item, which in this case is actually Steven, so we have some extra damage. Um, it, it's going to be my number one priority. I think we should donate before we buy an item. 
At least we have to donate like 12 cents or something like that. So we could probably buy one item and then donate and then still get it upped. Assuming it actually accepts all of our donations, but we uh, we also have lower luck because of our luck down. Hopefully that doesn't affect the donation machine too much in terms of it popping at least. It is an XL floor, so I'm, I'm not like uh, too bent out of shape. We haven't found at least one item room yet. It's going to take a little time. We finally have it. Um, we still have enough keys to do everything. Definitely enough bombs. Uh, betrayal, not worth it. Let's start cracking a couple bombs down here. Thunder thighs, not worth it. Speed down is too terrible right now. Uh, I don't think that's worth it. The dude who follows you around. Virgo, we don't need the invincibility. Gimpy, not worth it. Not really worth it. Okay, it's uh, it's popped into homing tiers once every two rooms. Honestly, I'm not too salty about that. Nothing that we got there was worth giving up the chance for something better. Strange attractor we can't take. What a bust of a floor right now, but still. It, it's just like there's no point in having hard feelings about it. It's just not a setup we can, we can roll with. It's too dangerous. Maybe if somehow we get like a free brimstone. So restocking shop on the cheap seems really good. Let's donate as much as we can. Almost as much as we can, because I do want to keep five cents to be able to buy that uh, playing card down there. This is good. We don't need the nine volt. Actually, you know what? There is value in the nine volt. Get out of jail free card. Doesn't this just open the Mega Satan fight? Oh, snap. Okay. There is value in the nine volt. What I mean to say is that, um, you know, with telepathy for dummies. All we need to do is, uh, well, use it every room, and then we're fine, right? We can, basically, it gives us homing tiers if we're ready to give up the D4, which I think I probably am. I'm pretty sure the Get Out of Jail free card opens the Mega Satan door. I'm trying to just, at this point, get money without opening, uh, without uh, blowing up the donation machine, because that would give us a better deal with the Devil Chance. But now I'm like, shit, man, we want a better deal with the Devil Chance. <laughs> it's hard. We, we probably won't get any deal on this floor, but I, now I'd like to reverse thrusters on that deal with the angel shit. But honestly, if I get um, if I get a key piece, I'll be happy, because at least it will give us a second out in case I forget about um, this get out of jail free card, which as we know can happen. Well, actually, Lucky Rock gives us such an easy out to get more money. Why am I wasting my time in here? I mean, we could shoot the poop and probably get one penny out of this room, so let's take that opportunity. But if we don't, we'll just blow up, like, a single rock somewhere. Better off to blow up a cluster of rocks, but we could blow up a single rock pretty much anywhere. And with Lucky Rock, we're going to hook ourselves up. Might as well get some mushrooms out of it on this room if we're going to try. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we want 9 volt. We want uh, Telepathy for Dummies. These are not... Well, I mean, 9 volts a great item. Telepathy for Dummies is not a great item, but it works well with the 9 volt. I also could be wrong about the get out of jail free card, but I don't think I am. But it, it, it's helpful to have a, you know, a little bit of skepticism, I guess. The other one was get out of jail free, and we had two of hearts. Okay, we could get the other card, and until we get Joker cards or something like that. But let's save our bombs just in case we have to try to make this happen. We still need uh, telepathy for dummies, you Joker. So this will allow us to use it once per room, effectively granting us homing tiers. Let's be real, it's not that amazing, but it is okay. And then, preferably, two easy boss fights followed by a deal with the devil that is not Krampus, it's just good items. And, uh, or I would also accept an amazing deal with the angel. Third best option, a deal with the angel, I guess. Fourth best option, nothing. It's the Fallen, so we have our... You know, our, our dream is going to come true for getting a deal with the devil item, assuming we don't die here. Let's throw a bomb in to expedite the whole not dying thing. Goathead. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting then. And Gertie. Now, Gertie is not the hardest boss in the game. Not necessarily the easiest. Don't let your guard down too much. Don't let your gird down too much. Don't let your gird go down on me. Good, 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 good. We're done. Okay. What do we got? 
It's a deal with the Angel. We might as well just not take Placenta. We get Holy Mantle, which gives us nothing. And then I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm scared that we could die on the Angel statue. Like, that seems completely plausible. But again, I, I'm so paranoid about actually making this work. About making the, the, the Mega Satan run happen. That I don't mind having like an extra layer of redundancy. You know, having a fail safe in case I forget about this get out of jail free car card. Or somehow it doesn't work like I originally anticipated that it would. And for right now, we're definitely going to kill the first angel statue. No problem. We get the second key piece. And we head down to the next floor. You know what? Why not take Placenta? Maybe we get a dice room and we decide that this is what we want to do. But it, it doesn't cost us anything. It doesn't really give us anything. Probably worth doing that, but it's not going to be my number one priority. So we're going to mostly get deals with the Angel now because of the key piece. At least we should get deals with the Angel. Um, and I'm not, not too salty about that as long as we get good ones. Just don't get hit by the fucking purple fire, man. Oh, a little scary. We have no bombs available. We're going to be able to come back here. We, we actually don't really want Lazarus rags. Like, if I die, I just want this run to end. I don't want to come back as Lazarus. But we know we're going to get into that fight anyway. We can take Lazarus rags later. We'll make sure we have a bomb ready, and then that'll complete our key piece. And we won't have to fight angel statues anymore, which will be a little bit of a load off my shoulders. Right. Why are we not using telepathy for dummies? Probably because, it, you know, homing tears every single room against enemies that only have one weak point is probably not that essential. But, you know, why not give it a try? For now, we've we've made kind of something out of nothing on this Lost Run. Not that the Goat Head is nothing, but, you know, we, we, we don't have incredible damage. We don't have incredible defense, except for Holy Mantle, of course. But we're still um, trucking along here, largely pretty much based on the damage that we're gaining from three familiars. Which is kind of funny. And, you know, the Steven pickup. Ooh, the Steven pickup. You're not dead? Battery charge? No? Okay. Things are going to get real tough, I expect. Or at least tougher. Um, you know, the real test is definitely yet to come. This is the easy part of the game, most of the time. The easier part, at least. But any room in which we don't get hit on at all feels good. Like, we didn't even have to use Holy Mantle. That's nice. We really just need a bomb. And then we wouldn't have to worry about uh, not being able to get the second key piece and kind of throwing our whole run off. Uh, okay, there we go. Two bombs and some money. A golden chest that contains more bombs and money. Now that we have three bombs, I think we come up here and try to get Small Rock. Didn't get small rock, but we got two pennies out of it, which actually gives us enough to buy another bomb easily. Okay, Gish. Regular size Gish should not be that tricky of a fight for us. You know, very predictable patterns. We can fly so we won't be hit by the creep. It'll also give us our fourth familiar on our fifth floor of the game. So we're really going to be, you know, looking for BFF to show up. And it could be, like, really advantageous for us. We're also going to be fighting the next uh, Angel Statue right after this. So we'll try to throw in two bombs against that Angel Statue just to speed up the fight. The Angel Statue is likely to be the most vulnerable that we're going to be um, for, for at least the next little stretch of the game. You know, the mom fight's going to be up there as well. We're not going to do Hush. We're not going to do Boss Fight or Boss Rush, I should say. So um, I, just making this happen, I think, is important. And also, if we can, uh, it doesn't really matter if we get a blue fire now that I think about it. Super smart northern line here. Maybe we can get a spirit heart out of the blue fire as well. Try to stand at, you know, the angles where we definitely can't get hit. Like a 22.5 degree angle relative to the center position. Looks like we're going to get through this just fine. Get our second key piece. Again, I think there's no real... Uh, this, uh, this is going to be the last run we do over the course of this video. Either way. So I guess we take Lazarus Rags and then if we die we can respawn and try to make the run happen. That seems fair. It's better to get a win as Lazarus and give it your all than just, you know, give up because we lost. If we were going to fit in another lost video no matter what, then we... Or lost run, I should say. Um, not its own separate video. Then I probably wouldn't have taken it, but in our current situation, it makes sense to take it. I would agree. It's a Magician card. Ooh, yeah, okay. So Toxic Shock is very good. A non-debatable take, basically. Anything that makes it easier for our relatively meager damage to get the job done quicker is a huge positive in my book. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't apply to the zombies. Good. Slow them down. Sometimes status effects can get them a little messed up, though, so you got to be careful. Moon card. I honestly just don't really care. Um, I don't really care about getting to the secret room uh, as much as I care about not even giving us, like, a 1% chance to forget get out of jail free. Oh, that's bad damage. Might as well take the Eternal Heart. What are we looking for right now? We're looking for the shop, but Northern Lion, you don't have enough money. Wait a minute, what are you doing with that bomb? Okay, now you do. I understand. Um, these things are like two hits away from death. We're going a little slow for boss rush, but we're not teleporting anyway, so what do we care? Diplopia. At this point, I think you probably have to say that the chance to use Diplopia... Oh, the, the shop replenished itself. We can get double converter. Now, the chance to use Diplopia on a good item, uh, or maybe on the chest right before the Mega Satan fight, or wherever we get the opportunity. A free devil deal, although all devil deals are free, but maybe a double devil deal. Um, these are, it's probably more advantageous than having homing tiers that clearly I'm not really getting that much use out of anyway. Okay. So far, so good. Still lacking in damage, but uh, Toxic Shock is going to help out a lot. Didn't even have to deal with that room. You know, we got Toxic Shock Familiars and, like, the ability to fly. It's a pretty good setup. I'm thinking we probably want to leave this floor uh, with the Goat Hoof. So we might as well kind of tap out of Lucky Rock right now. We only need 15 cents to make it worthwhile. Let's try to get as many as we can from this uh, special bomb as well. Um, Maybe we hold it a little longer. I don't know. Like... Most of the time, I'd say Lucky Rock is much better, but we really want to make sure that we don't get hit. And uh, having the ability to go even slightly faster does does do that. So this is not min-max uh, positive, if that makes sense. <laughs> this is not min-max friendly. It's a, it's a decision I'm making that's at the intersection of min-maxing and laziness. But we got a two of diamonds anyway. Sure, we could try to milk it a little further and get, um, you know, two of diamonds money equals power or something, but... I'm not uh, not super worried about that. There's our boss fight. The boss fight does worry me a little bit. I'm hoping that's... Wow, 36 cents. I'm hoping that we can pick up something on... Basically, just like an item room right now that is so amazing that I'm like, yeah, two of those, please. Like two plus one damage ups or something like that. I would be very, very pleased with that. I know a lot of Diplopia upgrades don't stack, but... Um, you know, it's got to be considered better than, I'm assuming, sure, Abel, it's like our eighth familiar. I'm still assuming it's better than uh, the other alternative, which is homing tiers we weren't really getting any value out of regardless. Two stone chests is probably just about the only configuration of that room right now that can make me go like, huh, that's tempting. It's actually... It, surprisingly thought-provoking. I don't know if we want to do that. I'm gonna say no for now. Life can change, though. You know what I'm thinking, right? Is this Diplopia puts us, like, a little closer towards Spun? But if we're gonna be banking on Spun showing up, why don't we wait and double our next, um... First off, I don't even know if it works that way. But secondly, we should wait and double our second syringe so we know that it's not in vain. I'm also stoked to have gotten the speed upgrade. Um, but yeah, like, better to double the second upgrade. That way, we might, you know, you never know. We might find something really awesome that was... I veered away at the last second. Um, we might find something really awesome that we just want to, you know, double in the meantime. Okay, we're still looking for our shop. Which, you know, if it's not greed, could be a real pivotal part of this run. We can get everything for free with Diplopia, but honestly, who cares, you know? It's just fanny pack. Red candle I almost want to buy just to uh, see what the item below it is, but I think we're really better off stipping, st stipping. sticking with Diplopia, despite the fact that it might not seem like it's, it's anything but underwhelming right now. Okay, mom fight. This is going to be tricky. It's regular old mom. Probably the best case scenario for us. Less likely to get stomped on. Not as many enemies to deal with this blue mom. Obviously more than red mom, but... We had the speed necessary to handle red mom too, but... Being able to be a little bit more comfortable... 
makes up for that, I think. Oh, I got hit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't be saying that until much later. Keep moving. Stay mostly in the center. But don't double back on your own positioning too much. Just want to avoid having the chance to get hit by the hands. Isaac, yes. Yes, what? I hear you calling. Calling for me out in the night, and it's all bad, and I know that, but... Good, 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 good. Wish we had poison touch. Or, you know, a single orbital. Don't speak. I know what you're thinking. Oh, okay. Um, we can take the Polaroid. That doesn't matter. Free nuns have it. No point in finding the angel statue. Oh, baby! <laughs> okay. I gotta admit, you know, without tooting my own horn too, too, too much, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this run right now. Um, we have to watch out. Some of the shots are gonna have depth. Without, I was gonna say is without tooting my horn too 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 much. I'm I'm pretty proud of this run right now. I would it's not oh Jesus it's not quite fair to say we made nothing into something, but I don't think it's too far off honestly. Like there's been there's not been any really truly incredibly amazing lost pickups. Toxic shock is probably the best item we picked up. And it's great, but, you know, un you're seeing a lot of rooms in which it does nothing for us. So there are there are big potential outcomes for us. One of them would be, uh, you know, Diplopia, Diplopia on an amazing stat bonus. Like a Diplopia, um, all stats up. I would probably pull the trigger on that right away. As opposed to diplopia in you know, four blind items, basically, on the chest. Chariot. Uh, you potentially useful on this floor, but get out of jail free card. I mean, I guess at this point we don't need a, our get out of jail free card. <laughs> I'm holding it. I'm holding the key in case something goes wrong with get out of jail free. But I don't need to hold get out of jail free in case something goes wrong with the key. The key is gonna be there. But for some reason, it feels like you know, it's like having a a superstition when you're in like professional sports. I know I use professional sports as an analogy all the time, but. You know, sometimes you you hear about baseball player, you know, wears the same socks two days in a row and hits a home run. Next game, he's wearing the same pair of socks, right? Like, oh, what a stupid, what a stupid idiot. Doesn't he understand logic and reason as he's making like $35 million a year? You know, I'm not going to insult him, even though most of the time I don't find myself very superstitious. Uh, I'm going to be superstitious about this get out of jail free card. Hopefully it doesn't get me killed. Let's try. Ah, not so bad. I still don't know what that does, so it can't be too terrible. Not that the golden chest was that good, but we're not going to need those keys anyway. Probably. So, we're probably due for another deal with the angel. What if we got two, a guardian angel? Would I diplopia a guardian angel? With one pretty fly? Honestly, I think I probably would. Hide. We should be able to hide. I don't think their shots have any height associated with, well, low height associated with them. Oh, there is a tinted rock as well. Small rock? Two keys. I mean, it's a decent payout for right now. Slower shots. Not interested. Okay, double low key is actually a little bit of a, a godsend here. This shouldn't be that tough. We got flies coming in on the regular. Toxic shock is... Did they, like, debuff it? Or nerf it? I don't know the difference between a debuff and a nerf. I guess a debuff is something that's actively applied to, that makes a character worse. A nerf is something that makes an existing item worse, or existing ability worse. By, by Jove, I think he's got it. Pacifier, sure. Much higher rate of fire, I think. We actually got to deal with the devil for another familiar. And I don't think there's any point to doubling Horror Babylon, because it's a damage... Might be a damage up, but I th you know what? <laughs> I really want to check, but I think I'm just going to take it. There's no way I wasn't going to take it. The only question was whether or not I doubled it. Because it's like a state change, I think it's just 
a, like it's just a, a f multiplier bonus plus like the all stats for you know other stuff but um, I could be wrong I'll you know I'll, I'll be the first to admit that I could be incorrect about that but we're, we'll save diplopia oh my god detractor beams pulling me in please don't die against you know double blast assists tractor beam room this is also the name of my first crush in high school dr. blast is double blast is uh, tractor beam pull it they were Dutch you see this is a joke okay that any room in which we lose holy mantle is gonna be scary but to be honest with you like I think we we're, we should be good for anything up until the Mega Satan fight. The Mega Satan fight, I have no idea. I think with our existing run, we'd have to play very well. That's assuming we got nothing of value out of the chest, basically. But uh, yeah, with our existing run, I think we'd have to play pretty well and maybe get a couple of lucky infamy uh, hits, but or infamy not hits, I guess. But uh, everything up until that, you know, I, I don't think there's a reason. Not Mr. Boom. It's Mr. Boom. I don't think there's a reason, um, any logical reason we can't beat Isaac. I don't think it's a guarantee, but I think we have every ability. You know, same with Mom's Heart. It's certainly not an outrageously overpowered run. Or a Babylon does help out a lot, though. I mean, it helps out especially with stuff like Rotten Baby's Flies. Like, being able to have them deal more damage helps me out a ton. Because I can just, you know, stay in my defensive area and, uh, you know, let the flies kind of carry it for me. Hagala's rune. Good news! Hagala's rune. To figure we might as well just pop it. See if we get anything of value. We didn't, but we tried. Nerves starting to tick up a little bit here. Wouldn't, wouldn't deny that. But this... Ooh, thank God for the less than three. I really feel like this run is only a problem right now because of the Mega Satan angle on it. If we instead were just going to fight Isaac, at this point I'd probably be like, Grace guys are gonna clear up, put on a happy face. But uh, for right now, I, I can't muster that level of enthusiasm because I'm a little, a little scared. On Susrun? Sure. I still like the get out of jail free card. At this point, I'm I plan to die with it or or I will win with it in my pocket. Like I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it apart from just holding it, but you know, it is what it is. I guess we could have used it to check out boss rush. I don't think we can use it to like get out of the hush fight and, and go down to the next floor or something. Plus that would just take us down to Shoal, which is not where we wanna be to fight Mega Satan. This is going to be a challenge. Here's Mom's heart. Toxic Shock did about fuck all to the laser beams, which is very disappointing because kind of was relying on that to save me from what is one of the more difficult elements of the fight. <laughs> okay, be cool. The flies are your friend. The flies are very much your friend, as is Little Gish. Great stuff. The beams are coming. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna make it to the cathedral. That's pretty impressive, I think. We also have a deal with the devil. No Krampos. It's Krampo. That's all right, honestly. Um, Krampus's head is tempting, but I think uh, overall probably a little bit overrated for our current situation. One-off damage burst versus a huge, well, an ability to get a huge swing. I wouldn't say a huge chance to get that huge swing, but it could be there. I don't think Krampus's head gives us enough, and that's what we got. So. We're headed down to the next floor, uh, empty-handed from this deal with the devil. Probably fair to say that this is the worst run that we'll ever have that could win as the Lost, maybe? I'm not I'm not getting overly cocky. I don't necessarily think the win is in the bag uh, at, at all. Certainly, I think we've got a pretty good chance to get through the Cathedral, though. I would get rid of Get Out of Jail Free for, like, an Emperor at this point, I guess. If you got it in your heart, but you don't. Of course, the big, the big uh, question mark right now is what the heck are we going to get? Oh, that was dangerous. I don't think I got hit. What the heck are we going to get on the chest, and is it in any way going to benefit us to have Diplopia? We haven't really given up much to roll with Diplopia. We gave up, you know, the opportunity to have Cred of Hampus. 
Did I say cred of Hampus? We gave up the opportunity to have head of Krampus, and we also gave up, you know, homing tears. But it's not really, like, it was homing tears that probably 30 or 40% of the time I would have just forgotten to use. So, uh, I wouldn't get too, too concerned about it. I, I, I like rolling the dice on this one. Okay, I think, in this case, generally speaking, our best strategy is just keep ourselves as far away from the disaster zone as we can. And, uh, you know, get Rod and Baby to land as many flies as possible, then we'll deal with the, the trash after it's over. Good stuff. Okay. Probably actually try walking into that. Uh, I mean, two golden chests is tempting, but I really feel like I don't want to play too much with that sort of fire right now. Says the dude who just said he loved rolling the dice, but, you know, this is a relatively high-risk rolling of the dice. As compared to my rolling of the dice, which is... More, less risky. Not necessarily more likely to pay out, but certainly less risky. I guess we might as well give you money. We don't have money equals power, so we might as well give you money to see if you decide to pay out with something awesome. Could be a great trinket in there, you never know. It's not, really. The world card does nothing for us here, we might as well pop it. Full health. Emperor card would have been very valuable, but world card, unfortunately... Despite doing something, at least in a similar genre, uh, doesn't really pass the mustard. Pass the mustard? Doesn't really pass mustard here. And now we might get money equals power, so let's hold on to everything here. It's yet another dead end. I just had a vision of us. You know, my midichlorians are ticking. I had a vision of us getting... Money equals power on the Mega Satan fight, and then dying on the Mega Satan fight regardless. Let's hope that that is, uh, that's just a weird premonition. Because for right now, I'm feeling a little spooky about it. Um, I, I don't think that it's likely we find our boss here. I'm gonna be really fucking freaked out if we get money equals power on the, the chest, though. I'll start to be like Tom Jones. I believe in miracles! Hey! Where are you from, you sexy thing? Sexy th That might not be Tom Jones, now that I think about it. It sounds like a Tom Jones song, though. So yes, I got rid of uh, Get Out of Jail free card for Are You... Uh, or for, not for Are You a Wizard, that'd be ridiculous. For the devil, I mean, why not, right? Logically speaking, Get Out of Jail free card is probably not going to do anything for us. Um, the devil definitely will. Just, you know... Stay, stay in it here. Don't check out completely. Every extra key is a chance. It's a ticket in the lottery. This is a tough room. It's probably the toughest room we've had on the floor so far. Pretty clutch bomb. Surprisingly clutch bomb coming from me. Good, and then flies. Flies, fly. Oh, not even necessary. Good stuff. Enemies that have triple shot are annoying, but keep our distance, we're safe. You know at this point, oh fuck. You know at this point we gotta be getting close to that Isaac fight. The real morale buster is when you get hit right at the start of a room, which is what I was scared about right there. But we made it through just fine. It's the Isaac fight, really shouldn't get hit on this room. Toxic Shock doing great work. Okay, no pressure. I'm not going to pop the Devil card here, because if we can't beat Isaac without getting hit twice, um, we're definitely going to need the Devil card to beat Mega Satan without getting hit twice. That was a very confusing sentence. Rotten Baby, come on. You know your job. A little scary. Just get close enough that Rotten Baby aggros. I think it started to aggro. Good. Now all flies from this point on will actually aggro. It'll really speed up the rate at which we were able to complete this. Holy shit, we haven't been hit yet. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. 50% done, roughly. Good. Get those flies in there. Two or three flies hitting per time is very good. Probably two-thirds done now. Keep it together. Great stuff. No flies that time. And accordingly, we didn't really make too much progress. Rotten Baby is the key to it all, man. We're safe here. Like 90% done. 
and we have not been hit. Probably should have a couple times. Should have been, I guess. Here we go. Flies, thank you. Flies, thank you. And we're gonna do it. Okay, we're gonna have a chance to fight Mega Satan. Whoo, boy. <laughs> Touch risky on this run. Let's see what we got. We Diplopia the Pedestal, so Halo of Flies. Rubber Cement, Magic Mush, Fruitcake. I have no idea if this is good. Oh, well, let's double it, man. So Magic Mush, obviously the damage multiplier. I don't believe that multipliers stack. I'm pretty certain Rubber Cement doesn't stack. Halo of Flies can't even stack. And Fruitcake actually kind of scares the shit out of me. Shots that explode in our face, I don't even know. But, you know, here we are. Let's try to make it happen. I gotta be honest with you, I give us like a 20% chance of making this work. But if we do make it work, how sweet would that be? Obviously, watch out for those shots. We should still get the uh, the benefit of a doubled all stats upgrade. Like, maybe our damage doesn't get doubled, but we'll definitely get the value from like a doubled, uh, you know, range stat, I think. And Fruitcake? You know, Clutch Holy Light, Clutch Godhead, those things are valuable. Nice. These are going to be homing bombs. We're fast enough to get through this. Okay, well, there's wave one done. This is the easier, or the easiest of all three waves. The, the mini bosses are going to be a little bit more of a clusterfuck. Don't get overly attached to the idea of getting, like, an amazing Godhead or Holy Light shot. Just make sure you're, you're doing you. And also, if you've got a uh, fire mind, or you think you might have fire mind, just stay away. Or even moreover, maybe just stay away. <laughs> stay away from all enemies. Like, definitely try not to be down there when they spawn. That seems sensible. Now, this is the hard part, because basically these enemies all fire at fucking weird beams and shit. They're very tough to avoid. But as long as we've killed, uh, very tough to avoid if they're not the only enemy, at least. As we've already killed, um... Well, at that point, as we'd already killed Ultra Pride or Super Pride, we had less to worry about. We just had Glutton these long distance attack, and we got through that just fine. Okay, it's gonna be Angel Statues. We've already done the Angel Statues, so it shouldn't be too bad. Just really like to not give them like an easy pot shot that they can catch us on. Yeah, that's awesome that we didn't get hit by that. Oh, we did get hit by that though. Don't even. You dirty dick! Lazarus Rag! No! Oh, the wind has been taken out of my sails! I can't believe it. Hit by the same angel statue attack twice. Well, we can still pull out a win here, and honestly, a win here would still be mighty impressive by my standards, but that's so heartbreaking. Now it's a test of our morale. To not give up. I really can't believe I got aped into that attack twice in a row. Oh, we were so close. But at least this is like the least disappointing Mega Satan fail we've ever had. If you do your brimstone attack when I can't see you, I'm going to be real pissed, man. Oh, shit. Oh, we did it! <laughs> we had like a sticky bomb shot that made it happen. Well, there's one way to beat Mega Satan as Lazarus. Thanks for watching. It's actually like, I'm not mad. It was a fun run. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.